Trent's Tactics. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, guys. Nice, Hi. How is nice to see you. Oh, I didn't have... I'm not wearing a hat, but it has to work without wearing a hat today. <laughs> so That's all right. We, uh, this was very enjoyable. Thank you very much for your critique and your comments and your emails uh, that you like this format a bit better. Um, we will continue like this. We have new yeah. tactics on the board. And um, yeah, explain. Ex uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're just going to continue trying to basically uh, make sure that the process uh, by which we analyze the position and, and execute tactics is correct. And a lot of it is in the process. Most people uh, have got a good idea of which moves should be analyzed. And a lot of people have got a good feel for tactical positions. I know, for example, I consider myself quite, you know, that's one of my strongest areas. Mm -hmm. um, but none of it really works if you haven't got the process down correctly. And so today that's what we're going to also do. We're going to get some pattern recognition in there as well, um, try and improve some accuracy as well with our calculation. But um, as I say, it's it's really all about the process. So, and I know we've been doing this for a number of weeks and we, we keep on doing it and it's, um, and it's useful. Um, and uh, I think, you know, a lot of it is also about repetition. So yes, getting good yes. at solving tactics, really, you need to put in a large volume of work, which is why if you go to tactics.chessbase.com and you check out the tactics trainer on that site, then you are able to, uh, to really improve because it has thousands upon thousands of uh, exercises for you and you're not going to become a tactical genius just doing five tactics <laughs> right? you need to lit you need to literally put in the work to do thousands so yes sounds these are just general point. yeah general rules now we're gonna we're gonna start today with with a petition a position between uh Konstantinopolsky against Petrov this is from Moscow 19. 40. Oof, and this, rough the time. situation, yeah, the situation is clear. Um, White is obviously attempting an assault on the Black King, but Black's pieces are reasonably close. Mm -hmm. And if you give Black time to consolidate here, he might just be doing fine. So it's White to play, and this is where we're going to stop you to pause the video. And what you need to do is you need to come up with at least three candidate moves okay so there are at least three candidate moves and then you need to order which of those you start with and that's really where um uh, an important part of the process that i mentioned at the beginning of the show because mm -hmm. you save yourself a lot of time if you start with the correct candidate moves okay all so right sorry all right yes absolutely just a quick reminder for you yeah. watching the youtube video in our news uh chess-based news article, you see all the positions on the board. So this is your chance to train your tactics, not only on Friday, as Lawrence already mentioned, but this is a good motivation, good starter to, to get the work in there. And why not do it with us together with an expert explaining a bit about the position? So you can uh, check out the link in the description. And we also have a complete tutorial video about how to use the tactics trainer, which we will look at later. Now, Time to pause the video, think about three candidate moves. I will do the same. Yeah, so let me give you okay. my ideas. Okay, let's hear it. I, my first idea was bishop to h6 check. Fantastic. Because that is a thing which you have to directly answer to, I believe. And we can maybe take an advantage by, yeah giving a check later on h4 this is my first candidate move okay what were your other candidate moves here, so then? i was uh, also thinking about something super funky um like bishop f7 but i do not i i mean it you yeah. can answer it in several multiple ways and i think it's not even a threat mm -hmm. at all i thought about queen b3 queen takes b7 but then pff, it's it's nothing 
Okay. And the last candidate move I had, well, obviously also the rook just takes h4, but I think it is too slow as well. And um, yeah, so everything, okay. everything, I think everything leads to bishop h6 for me at the moment. Okay. So um some some good some good things done there it's good that you immediately dismissed uh queen b3 for example or bishop takes f7 bishop takes f7 clearly just is too too wild rook takes and there's no follow up yeah. here uh queen b3 your queen is over the wrong side of the board suddenly right i mean you're going in the wrong direction basically it's clear that another thing that you know, top players do and do well is they understand where to play on the board. Do you play on the queen side, in the center, on the king side? Understanding yes, yes. that is clear. And obviously, the situation in this position is one that requires attention on the king side. Now, coming to the, the, the other moves, so you said the first thing you would look at is the check, and you're absolutely right. That is the first move you need to actually consider in this position. Although some of the other candidates you said, for example, the move rook takes h4 is a very valid candidate move because you win a pawn and obviously you're now threatening to deliver bishop h6 check on the next move. So clearly this move also has to be considered. And the order which you do it is you start with bishop h6. If that works, then you don't have to analyze rook takes h4. Um, and if it doesn't work, then you do analyze rook takes h4. And then uh, after that, you you have a look to see if there's anything else. But you come to uh, the conclusion fairly quickly that there is actually just nothing else in this position here, mm -hmm. apart from bishop h6 or rook takes h4. Excellent. So let's start with your move bishop h6 check. Now, black's reply is forced. Um, you have to take it, otherwise... Uh, what else are you doing? I guess we're just winning a uh, rook if uh, the king goes anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, if if the king goes anywhere, you you can you can just take the rook and then take the that pawn and be should a do it already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have to take, and then of course White's next move is also just in flow with this, right? I guess so. So yeah, for you, if you do not know yet what the flow is, if you're your rating strength is just like very low or beginner don't be uh disencouraged to to continue here because uh, that's all part of the whole thing so um you you were teaching chess to uh, since more than 25 years or or something like this almost right and you you have also like uh, chess beginners too and you have right. yeah you have some tactic trainings with them too so um, exactly. yeah obviously so anyway, stop the video if you if you're not sure, but I'm pretty sure it is rook has to take h4 with a check, right? It is. Yeah, you have to follow up with this move. This is really taking a pawn with check has to be the first move you consider. Yeah. Okay. Now we reach kind of the first difficult, not difficult, but let's let's call it critical moment yes. of this. Because the most obvious reply is just to go back to g7, but we do actually have to think about the move king g5 here mm -hmm. because even though the king is walking up the board it's when you spend just a couple moments on this position it becomes clear that actually checkmating that king by a normal means is not that easy for example what is the most logical move here would you, you have, say you have to stop the video because i I yes. have the feeling that I'm seeing a move which is actually winning. Okay. But, Good. Oh, oh, it might be wrong, because maybe the king escapes. That could also be. Maybe okay. it's discalculating. But anyway, okay. I'm thinking about rook h5. Check. Now, Easy. that's a brilliant move. To, to I mean, it's interesting, because in many ways, that is the first move you should look at, because yes. it's the check. But what I was trying to get at before is that, let's say you played... Ah, a standard okay. move like rook h1. The point is that actually you're not threatening to checkmate black. I'll just put a random move on the board because I just want to demonstrate that there isn't mate here via, let's call it normal means. Queen e3 check can be met by bishop f4 and there are no more uh, no more um, 
let's call it uh, classic checks. And so black continues. But it's really good that you mentioned the move rook h5. Okay. Um, and it's and, and then you start to realize it leads to a forcing variation. So it's very easy to calculate. So g takes h5. Queen f5 check. Queen f5 check. King goes to h6. And now I believe uh, rook to h1 is the final hit. Yeah, that could... Because if I uh, take with the ah yeah, if I take with the queen, it can also work actually. Yeah, it's probably leaves the same thing. Yeah. But you're absolutely yes, yes. right that after rook h1, we're threatening uh, queen h7, and importantly, exactly. we target this guy, so that when the rook moves, that's actually just checkmate. That I didn't see before because of course this rook, which is actually protecting f7, has to move to exactly. h3, and then it's not protecting f7 anymore. Exactly. Yeah. So that actually works. So bravo. So king g5, rook h5 check does lead to force mate. Okay, so that then means that after rook 6, h4, king g7. Now, by the way, bravo is... if you have found it out at yeah. home too. Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, clearly in this position here, um, white has got uh, another absolutely clear cut move. Okay, the move is screaming out to be played. <laughs> if you are not 100% sure, stop the video. If you are very certain, then I think we can proceed to rook a1 goes to h1. Of course. The rook, the only piece that isn't working, you double on the h file and you actually threaten mate in three via the well-known uh, double rooks constellation, mm -hmm. right? So there is a threat of, of mate in three. Okay. So black has to do something. There are really only two ways to get out. Of it. Either he moves the rook from f8, or he tries to, an escape route by the move f5. Didn't see that, yeah. But yeah. yeah. Now again, this is where let's start with f5. So let's continue our process as we know it. Follow the checks. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So we give a check on h7. He has, has to now to go king f6. f6. That's the point. Yep. I see. Okay. I think I already can figure it out again. That should be a. So if you if you want to pause the video, but I think it's g5 check. G5 check. Wow. Okay. So let's talk about this. I love this move just from a conceptual point of view. The point mm. is that if the king goes back here, then we give a check on e1. Yeah, I don't know whether with the rook or whether bringing the queen. I don't know oh, yeah, which is okay. better. Yeah, but I thought oops. about the rook. Let's well, see. we know at the very least here, black has got no king moves and giving back a piece. You know, if he has to go here, then white must be winning because we take the piece back and the attack continues, right? Yes. So you don't even really need to calculate any more here because if you get to this position, you just know that it's winning. Um so you can kind of stop, right? I mean, just to, for example, you can take bishop c5. You're not material down here. It's actually equal on material, but there, with the king in the center and all kinds of stuff going on. For example, now your move, queen b3. <laughs> there it is. That now, <laughs> now, now just wins me on the spot, right? So you don't have to calculate that. Okay, so you have to calculate king takes g5. Mm -hmm. So now what I was thinking of is uh, rook h1 to h5 check. Rook h1 to h5 check. Brilliant. Giving up a rook in order to uh, to open black up totally. I love this. So you're following the checks even with sacrifices, but it makes sense. Okay. So let's uh, let's analyze. So. Um, If he, okay, taking is, is kind of the critical line. If he goes back here. Yeah, this is interesting, right? So yeah. um, this is interesting, but uh, no, it, uh, yeah, it is working actually. Queen takes f5. Can you believe it? Check. Can you believe this is, it? This is unbelievable. Well, no, it's I, not working, is it? it, it well, the king goes to g5. Yeah, so you have to have a little... Ah, wait yeah, a huh? second, wait a second. Tofu! Sorry about my cat. Tofu, come here. 
I mean, this is right. the, this is actually the toughest defense, by the way. Let's let let's come back to this move. Let's just understand why Black can't take on H5. Yes. So I believe. Um... So there's two variations. I take either with the rook or with the queen. And I'm mm -hmm. then following up with uh, taking on f5 or f7. Now, this is the thing what is better here. So if I take with the rook, then the king goes to... The king cannot go to g6 because that is checkmate. Yeah, so king g6, we take and we... Uh, is, is it, it mate? still mate? Well, it is, yes, it it is, is mate. mate. It is mate. <laughs> it is mate. It uh, is? Rook h7. And now the bishop f7 bishop check. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the one. That is yeah, mate. but it is, okay. all, it is all funnily unclear. Follow everything but, on the board. This is, uh, this is what an amazing game you have found yeah. again. Unbelievable. So, so what if the fun. king comes back to f6? Okay, so this is the critical position. And I think that... I have to take with the rook on f5 now to finish this game. Okay. And if the king comes back... So if the king comes to g7, that it's an easy be win. checkmate again, exactly. Yeah. So, and if the king comes to e7... So here's the check on f7. Beautiful. So if we take, it's mate. Yeah, so king goes and to e8. And then it's just... Is it... Uh, it's not just. That's the problem, right? No, no. You can just take on f8. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. Excellent. Yes, yeah. I take on f8, and there is the checkmate. Wow. Yeah, with the bishop warner. So that That's actually nice. wins. Bravo. By the way, just so you know, I was actually looking at the move queen takes h. Me too. Me too. And he look at this for a pattern. The point is that after king f6 now, you go queen h6 check, and if king e7, how about that for a lovely checkmate? That's nice, huh? That I didn't see. And it's mate and one, and you don't see it immediately. Wow. Yeah, and it's and it's and that's what I saw with the rook on h7. That's now crazy. as it turns out, maybe black has to go king f4. Yeah, that is but... interesting again. But queen f3 and then... Queen F3, King G5, we get kind of the same position. Yeah, and then we have to do the rook thing again. So hmm. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Then we can do the rook thing again. There are probably numerous ways to to make this one work. Yeah, it just looks um, as if black cannot. Probably, but you've got to be a little bit careful. For example, queen h6 would be a horrible blunder because queen g5 <gasps> is checked. That's true, yeah. Don't so do black that. does <laughs> actually have a threat. Black does actually have a threat of queen g5 here. So it might be the case, actually, you have to do something like check. And as you said with the rook, um, playing, oh. like, uh, playing like that. Or a move, some quiet move like queen h3, setting up queen h4 and queen h6 mate is probably good uh, enough. Because now the king cannot go back to f4 because the queen can give a check on e3. Then the rook yes. go, gives a check on g. Or the bishop comes back. That's my oh, yeah. favorite. Okay, right? that's the even beauti more beautiful. Back. Yeah. Yeah, so like finding this little move queen h3 as well. I mean, this is obviously very advanced, but this also does the job. So that all works out. Beautifully, and that's basically the solution, right? So it's it's finding this move. That said, we didn't completely understand exactly. what was going on after the There was six. Now, one, one last thing which we didn't check about this. Yeah. And this is a really tough move. This is not easy at all. This is actually I'm sorry, kind of surprised sorry. the black player didn't play this. So where did the black player Black actually after a gauge one just played Rook H8? basically giving up because now after rook takes queen takes rook takes rook takes he doesn't have enough material for the queen so you can play just queen b3 attacking yes. f7 and it's just winning even without queen b3 even if you play let's say c3 just positional move you have a queen and bishop versus rook knight and bishop and this should be winning that in the long term look good yeah so he black should have tried the move f5 and as you said here here is great here now after king f6, this is this is a this is an insane leap. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, so this is of course how move. far I, I was actually. Yeah. So this is the thing where yeah, yeah. I, I, I like it too. So I thought about queen f5 check. Yeah, so this nearly works, but it doesn't quite it doesn't after takes. Right. Yeah. I mean we have the same checkmating pattern that we saw yes. before, but unfortunately the, the king, king goes can to come G. Up so we yeah, have to 
but that and we lose actually exactly okay so but that doesn't matter that much because this is what all of you calculated right now already every time mm -hmm. you're not sure about this position stop it think about it for yourself try to find the solutions think long you have all the time in the world we're just doing this quick 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 so you have the answers to to check out so instead of taking with the queen we take um with the rook on f5 maybe yeah again after g takes i don't see a check here and it feels like we give him just one critical tempo oh brutal to okay so yeah what's it's wrong brutal with that interesting yeah it's brutal okay so then let us think a little bit longer that is that is uh yeah this is really tough i mean actually it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of people got here and gave up because it it looks as though the attack is actually running a bit out of steam here oh okay so time for yeah, finding the right move. Now, I have to think for a short moment because I okay. want to really... Yeah, please do. Pause the video. I, I'm. Uh, this is one of the nicest tactic positions I have seen so far. So, yeah, I will pause the video. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What can we do here? What can we do here? So, I, I, I like... I like this idea of rook h6, but is this enough? Oh, there is a lot of options. The longer you think, the longer you look at this. It's really tough. So for it, oh, that is, that is rough. Hmm. Something like d5 is not working. No, d5 is not working. But what about what what is happening if we so first let's give a couple of more checks. This is what we always do. Okay. F7 that yeah, rook rook takes, takes doesn't quite we don't need to take no. that because yeah, that's not no, Enough. it's actually, there are no check. It's actually a, let's call it a quiet, it's not a, a pure quiet move because yes. you do threaten something. So try, if you if there are no checks and there are no obvious captures, then the next thing you do is you try and threaten something. Okay, so, okay, finally, let's let's keep it moving on because you're also waiting at home. So, okay, I, I will just go for, one of my favorite moves at the moment is queen e3. Good. Now, queen e3, let's talk about that. One. Okay. Because okay. we're threatening mate in one. Queen that g5 looks, is mate. That's quite convincing, yeah. Yeah. If he takes, then we have our pattern from before, which is why it was worth uh, knowing that pattern, right? Queen e6 is mate. And if he does anything else, let's say now he tries to block queen g5 with move f4. Now... We try and combine the ideas. Okay. Oh, I see it. Stop the video. Stop I the video think again. I think I found it. I'm pretty sure I found it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm 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 certain actually. Yeah. It must be uh, rook takes f7 check. Good. Yeah. Rook takes f7. Actually, black only has one legal move, which is to take. And now, now... We're doing a check on e6, and that seals the deal. And that's the solution to this problem. So it is a, a reasonably tricky position, but let's talk about again about the process. Yes. So first thing we did was give the check, lure the king into the firing line and follow up with the natural check. We then analyzed the two only variations. We came very, I mean, in, intuitively as well, the king coming up the board feels like it shouldn't be enough with all of these major pieces. So then we went, then went there, we followed up with a natural move, which actually had a mate threat. Mm -hmm. Then we understood very quickly that rook h8, as played in the game, uh, you don't have to calculate too much because it's just uh, technically winning. But it was all about this move. And this was the difficulty Let, one. I have to intervene quickly yeah. just for you at home. If you haven't, if you think about, wait, 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 what about rook g8 then? So the queen oh, yeah, can sorry. escape, but the queen cannot escape uh, after a check on h7. We just give another check there, and uh, I yeah. think we win a piece uh, 
again at least yeah at least we can go rookie one oh, i mean rook pretty, seven right yeah rook h7 is i mean pretty much you know with the king on e8 and all the pieces around yes any yes. move is good queen e4 is good rookie one is good rook h7 is good nice nice um nice. any move wins so yeah it was all about this f5 move and then finding g5 is not difficult because you understand that a check on the e file wins a piece back. Um, finding this move also is perhaps not completely difficult if you um, are following the checks like our advice, but this is this is the move. That, that this is the move that will separate the wheat from the chuff. This is a this is a tough move. If you saw all the way to Queen E3, bravo, you're an, you're an expert, <laughs> very, very strong. Uh, tactical uh, uh, attacking player. Love this move it. is not easy to find, but if you do find this move, you do win uh, the position. I love it. Very nice. Let's check it out one more. Okay. And then we do some tactical training on chess space. So yeah, yeah the position. So again, here. it's 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 again today is refining the process, and we're going to go through the process of. Uh, how we should approach such a position. So it's white to play. This is the game. Uh, Leuvenfish against uh, Gutlif, I think, from Gutlif. Uh, Gotthilf, yeah. Gotthilf from Leningrad, 1924. Wow. White to play. Position again is fairly clear in its essence. White is on the attack. Two rooks on the F file, knight on d5, queen on h6. Yeah. Clearly yeah. trying to do something against black king. Black, on the other hand, is trying to defend. So the question is, what is the process and how we sh should we proceed with white? What are the first moves we look at? Okay, time to pause the video because I uh, will immediately strive ahead because the first things first, we start with the checks and the first check I can see is a check on F8. Bam, yeah. right, right? We well, take with the queen. That's certainly one of the checks we're going to get into. There, oops, there are other checks. Not yeah, there was one. <laughs> That's one, but that one we're going to. Obviously, the move knight f6 check as well is ah, true. is a check, but it feels as though it doesn't really achieve much after takes no. takes. So I don't really see what white gets out of that. So, of course, then there are no <clears throat> obvious cat. Well, knight takes b4 is actually a move that uh, should be considered oh, as, as part of true. Your... Yeah, because after takes takes, um, you know, the d5 square suddenly does become available for the bishop. Mm -hmm. But then ideas of queen's hg3 check and whatnot suddenly exist and you have to calculate more. So you say to yourself, okay, I'll analyze knight takes b4 only after I've calculated queen takes f8. Now, we have to follow this move. Okay, yeah. so the follow up is simple because it's a, a, a series of only moves. King takes f8. We give a check on f7, clearly. And yeah. yeah, probably we give a check on... Yeah, well, that's the question now, right? Actually, exactly. actually, isn't it already... Ah, aren't we already winning if we give the check on e7 with the, with the knight? Okay, and if the king goes here? We aren't, true. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the Not king quite. go here? True, yeah. Exactly. Of course. Tofu, shut up, come here. <laughs> My goodness. Why are you so needy, huh? Okay. Um hmm. Yeah, okay. This is a bit more tricky, of course. So okay, let's follow up with the obvious moves again. That is a check on F8. Yeah. The king goes to G7, and we give a check on F7, and the king escapes to H6. Now the question is okay. What next? What next? So now I see some interesting moves, but they all take some time. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of options again. So are there any other options than the obvious one? Or do we have to, from the process wise, do we have to follow through with this now since we are this far? Well, once we've got here, so we reach this position, it's clear that there are no more checks in the position, right? So yes. we have to ask ourselves, okay, we've sacrificed a queen. So our follow-up needs to be needs to have some bite. So some where where are the pressure points here? In... I, yes. Mm -hmm. So 
there are some beautiful night moves which aren't mm -hmm. yet giving a check but very soon mm -hmm. and one of the uh, spots is of course g4 with the fork right mm -hmm. and the other one i'm looking at is probably easier to achieve it's g8 with a check and i think the follow-up is um yeah that should almost do the trick so if we can get the knight to okay G so you want to play knight to e7 yes. now the question is of course a lot of counterplay can happen from black here but right. i think our king can be saved yeah okay so let's say black took on g3 which so, looks like a useful pawn to win that is a very useful pawn because i needed that pawn <laughs> you needed that form for your attack when yeah. the king comes to g5. It's not okay. Right. Anyway, let's go with it. So, knight g8 check. Knight g8 check. The, the king, king comes, comes just to there. That is, that is, that's not fun. So, that is, there is nothing. Is there nothing? There is nothing, right? It looks like there's very little here, basically. Yes. With the king on the dancing on the dark squares, uh, h4 check, he can just take with the queen. Yeah. He's got checks on d4 and e1, and all of a sudden you're looking at this position, you're thinking, hmm. But this is where we do another thing when it comes to the process, right? You have come up with a very interesting... Oops. You have come... <laughs> Damn. Sorry, uh, you've come up with a very <laughs> did, interesting I idea. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I made a mistake there. That you wanted to play knight g8 check. And if you could save a tempo doing that, uh, then you would be onto something. So in the game, in the last variation, you just went rook f8 check. But what if you play the move knight e7 check first? Yes. Okay, Because you get exactly... And the I same. wasn't there already. Damn it. I did. And I, you're I there didn't... already. You saved this critical tempo. Uh, but I just didn't follow through because you said, what about when the king goes there? Why, why am I falling for this? Exactly. Now, okay. So we get here and the king goes to g5. Hold on a second. It's not the end of the story just yet, right? Because, uh, okay. But what that, do we do that next? looks very, very, very okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because the so, king can take on g3. Now it's time to exactly. pause the video again pause so video. to find the next uh, lethal move here. I have an i, I have some ideas right now. Very tricky, interesting ones. Maybe I just have to... No, I cannot prepare. I cannot prepare with the bishop to f3 because the queen will take on g3. Exactly. So the way we prepare has to be clever. It has to stop queen takes g3 and allow the attack to continue. And to give the last hint, I think it also has to secure the king. So what about king h2, right? Bravo. Yeah. King h2, exactly. So this move Brilliant. is... Nice. Um, a really, really nice move because still, the queen takes e2. Yeah, so queen takes e2 is still here. So just to clarify, king h2 is a brilliant move because you protect g3 and you're actually threatening mate into again. Just to illustrate a random move, check and mate uh, is the threat. So as Anna correctly says, what if we pin the bishop? But it feels now though at least that we're getting closer. So what do we do? We follow the checks, of course. Yeah, so, so exactly. H4, check. And the king goes to G4. Yeah, it cannot go to H5 because then we have the rook check on H7, I think. Yeah, that uh, uh, and, and king G4, rook F4 yes. is, is so, one checkmate. Knight H6 is also good. So the king has to come to G4. Yeah, so it's the other way around too, of course. So the rook gives a check on f4. The rook ah, gives a check. But now we cannot give a check on h7 anymore. But now we cannot give a check on h7. <laughs> okay. But we have a position where the oh. king is trapped, right? Yeah. So white to play here. 
And if you get here, again, you can still be confident, even if you haven't analyzed until the end. The king is on h5, your piece is around. So stop the video, guys. Yeah, stop the video here. And I mean, is it just the so simple move? Because black, the good thing is, as you just mentioned, we also have to realize in those tactical positions, I think, um, what can black actually answer if it would be a quiet move? And I think the most quiet move I can think of is rook f7, the rook f8 to f7. Yeah, exactly. That is a beautiful solution. Huh. Remember, the black pieces are also very inactive. Yeah. Knight on e8, the rook on d8, the knight on b4 are far away. You are making threats every single move. So black has to react. And now rook takes h7 is mate. And if he goes h6... We follow up with rook h7, I believe. And that's the end. Rook takes h6 is just winning on the next move. And there's really nothing black can do. Massive. Just, yeah. Also, I just want to point out as well that white doesn't have to go rook f7. That's a perfectly good solution. Oh. But the move king h3 is also a cute solution. Oh. Just getting out of the pin, either threatening bishop f3 or more likely g4, which wins. That's and nice. after g5, you can still go g4. The point being that after king g6, follow the checks. And oh you drive God, the king goodness. all the way back to the corner oh, to then cool. deliver any check you want with the knight. All three discovered check moves are mate. So maybe you um, found this instead. Could very well be. So maybe you found that. this yeah. instead, yeah. And uh, oh. it's just as good. Um, so lots of winning things, but of course the important thing is following the process. So all the way at the beginning, we sacrificed the queen. We then understood that the most natural move here is to give the check and then draw the king out in the open, but our knight was just a bit short. So we try and then improve on that. Can we get the knight involved? Because we saw knight g8 check, but we can do it by saving a whole tempo. And once that happens, the last bit of the puzzle which is this move here, this quiet, let's call it a quiet move or an improving move in the attack. Lots of examples in chess history where you have to take a timeout from the forcing moves in order to secure your position and then continue. And actually, King H2, even though it's not a forcing move, actually in some in, in, in an indirect way it is because yeah. you then threaten mate in two so, or mate in three. So... Uh, it, it is an attacking move. And then after queen takes e2, yeah, we found various solutions here with the king um, wide open. All of this is pattern recognition. You, the more yes. often, if we would do this a thousand times, we recognize those patterns, we find the solutions far, far simpler and easier. And I want all of uh, us to move over to the chess-based tactics se session. Perfect. So I will okay. move ourselves here. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, just move on to uh, the the tactics se section on chess base. In the article, there's an instructional video by Albert Silver of how to use it. It's just seven minutes long if you haven't used it before, but it's part of the training, so let's go for it. Okay, well, that's... Uh, it's not checkmate in one. No, no, it's, 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 checkmate, in it's two. check. It's checkmate in two. So we follow <laughs> yeah, the just check go for that. There and we go. Okay, let's next go to the next one. one. Now, clearly, here what I'm yeah. looking at is I'm looking at the h7 square. Yeah. I can see that numerous one. ways to win, but the, the easy forcing way is just exactly. To this is a yeah them. famous famous pattern for yep. beginners. This one is just mate in one, yeah, so exactly. we're not going to spend too much time on it. Okay, it gets difficult here. Doesn't okay, so, no, it so doesn't. It doesn't. not really. It's, no, what is it? The king it's can not go checkmate. to e eight. Right, but we if can we then go, if we give a check on ah yeah 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 we just do it still because there's a fork, right? Yeah, just yeah. the fork, yeah, exactly. Okay, all and right. By the way, if you are at home, you see this board loud and clear almost so stop the video too and um, take a look for yourself before we are talking all over this is uh, if you don't have a chance to do the tactical training right now so this is a good way to keep up with the exercises now 18 yeah the difficulty is always a, a little bit of an indicator right if we wouldn't know how difficult it is it 
probably would all take a bit longer. Exactly. Uh, now, this position here, um, you know, clearly Black has just played the move with K8, which is a bit of a strange move uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, okay. to put the Rook there. Um, however, so let's talk about the um, the plausible candidate moves here as well. So with everything, with all these tactical positions, you look at the pieces that are quote unquote hanging, right? Yes. So yes. And then, so which uh, which pieces here are hanging? That'll be the rook on d6 and also the rook on a8. Right. The rook on d6 and the rook on a8. Um, but I don't see a clear solution. I also, I also don't see a clean solution, but that's how I would approach this. I don't know why this is rated 1829, because it's certainly not um, straightforward. I mean, I see many ways here that white can be a lot better. That I can see, but I don't see a straight up I mean, I, I think I know the solution it wants, but it's not probably obvious. Um, but I, I guess I have a, a feeling for, for the solution it's looking for. Wow. I yeah. am absolutely clueless here. Okay, well, I'll show you. Okay. So I think, and I might be wrong here, it's the move knight here. Yeah, that's what I also and saw. Yeah, so we attack the rook, we have the forcing variation, and it says solved. And the point is that it wants, well, the rook is very short on squares. Let's say it attacks the uh, the knight. And now it simply just wants to take, take, and I'm pretty sure put the rook on d7 with a dominating positional uh, advantage, basically. Okay, yeah, it is probably every computer will count this plus two or three. Well, let's have a look. Can we do that engine? Let's see what this says. It only gives it as plus 1.6. Huh. So yeah, it's still not, there might be a better. Let's have a look. Let's see here. Um, no, it's saying this. It's saying wow. this exact variation. So probably not the best example there by the by the um, tactics uh, trainer. But, it is, but uh, it is still good enough because, uh, yeah, the thinking has to continue. And you found it out after all. So, yeah, very good, very good. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's carry on. So, okay, rook takes c4, just played by black. White's move. We've got this as 2116. Says it's tough. Some absolute immediate... Um, moves come to mind the very the, this is interesting because you have one idea in the very first second right do you yes. see a position and you already go like this this is probably it so my first second thought was uh bishop takes g7 exactly that's my first thought as well because we're immediately targeting the knight on d7 and then there would be a pin across and then b7 is hanging and so on and so forth so i actually yeah. think that, that probably is the correct move. Um, and the, fir the first move and the correct but move. Is, what, about, what about bishop c3? Bishop c3 also exists, but... Then the queen can first, go back to d8. Yeah, the queen can go back to d8. And that's why I rejected it. So I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be bishop c3. Okay, let's three. hope. Okay, okay, so we just... We do take, take the knight. Right. Yeah. And it says nice. solve. Again, uh, with just a, a huge advantage. Okay, basically. we're back in the game a little. Okay. Now, this one looks familiar, actually. But I don't think we have done it. It says difficult. So, why to move and win? Very difficult. So, so we're in exchange down. Wow. And Black has just played C6. Now, I have to say, this position does... You know, winning this position is... Uh, ah... So I give you my very first second yeah. thought again. It's rook okay. a5. And if b takes a5? Right. Yeah, then knight c5. Knight c5 doesn't work because the queen will just go to c7. No, oh. but then knight a6 check. But even that continues. Yes. So rook a5, pawn takes, knight c5, queen c7, knight a6 check, king b7. 
Ah, but knight takes c7 and the rook on e8 hangs. Okay. So that actually works. So after ba5, knight c5, he actually has to play. Ah, no, you've got it. Well done. That's it. Ah, no, but then the, no, it carries on. So rook c7 instead of queen c7. Yes. Okay. You can play queen takes e8, check. King, rook c8. Uh, knight d8 check, right? Sorry? Uh, <laughs> if the king goes to b7? Or... So rook a5. Yeah, rook c6. He takes a... No, no, you take first. Ah, yeah, of course, okay. Then, ah, okay, sorry, pardon. Yeah, that was my mistake. Yeah, knight so rook c5. a5. Rook a5, b takes a5, knight c5, rook c7, knight takes e8, queen takes e8, check, yeah. Uh, queen takes e8, what is wrong with yeah. that? Rook c8, <laughs> rook c8, <laughs> rook c8. Can, the knight, uh, can the queen and uh, queen just go back to d7 now? Okay, queen goes back to d7, yeah, and now he's forced to go rook c7 again. And then we give a check on a6 again. And then king b7. Now the question is, do we have the pawn a winning ending? Already? No, we're actually a pawn down. Terrible. So mm -mm. what if... Okay. So I, I know this is also not working. What? Okay. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Rook a5. a5. Knight c5. Rook c7. Queen takes e8. Rook c8. Queen d7. Rook c7. Queen d8 check. Rook c7. Knight a6 check. King has to go to b7. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Wow. That There's probably going to be some quiet move in there somewhere. Yeah. That's massive. What a beautiful, nice little tactic. But I feel like you're onto something, but uh, I can't. Uh, I can't see the the end. Can I? What? Oh, no, it doesn't doesn't help at all. Rook d six doesn't help. And no, rook d six is also my first. F four doesn't help either. No, no, this is really interesting. So f four was actually the first move I thought of, believe it or not, in this position. Um, and I'm, I haven't calculated it out. So f4, c takes d5, queen d6, check, king b7, queen takes d5, check, king b8. Yeah, and I, I just didn't find... Uh... So what about rook a5? Yeah. A5. Yeah. f4. Rook a5, b takes a5, f4, with the idea of knight c5 and... But then, yeah... Because then we can take the rook. Yeah, but maybe there he's got to move like queen g2, threatening queen d5 check and exchanging the queens. That's the only problem. But then we can, can we give a check on d6? No, we cannot. Yes, we wait a second. Go on. Queen. What are you saying that I'm not? Two. Oh no, no, no! The queen is too far away. What are you trying to do here? Jeez! Wow! What? What is? What is it's this hard. has to be the last one because yeah, we're we're hanging oh. around this. So the question is: Shall we take a hint, or shall we? Do we think Rook A five is the first move? I think it is. I, 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 I'm really curious, but um, 
or let's think about it a little bit longer. Come on, we can okay. do it. We can do it. Yes, we can. Tofu, you're such a annoying little kitten right in the stream. Sorry, everybody, for the cat noises, if you heard them. <laughs> They will continue now, probably. <laughs> Rook a5. Okay, let's go for one more time. Rook a5 takes a5. Qu Queen's uh, knight c5. Queen c7 doesn't work because we just win the queen and that's the game. But Rook c7. Now, what happens after... I think I got it now. Okay, no, I don't, good. I don't, I don't, because it's okay. not working. Ah, mm -hmm. But what if oh, that's also not working? Yeah, it's not so simple, huh? Okay, let's, we have to do something. So shall we get a hint or shall we go rook a5? I think we should go rook a5. Let's do it. Risk it. Let's risk it. Good man. That's good. Okay. So now comes the point oh. of f4. I don't think it is f4. f4, queen g2 feels like. So we're going to go knight c5. We're going to do it. Okay, okay. rook c5. We're so going to take on e8. Thank you very much. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Well, now, now, it, now it gets interesting, right? Okay, okay. <sighs> how to continue now because there is more options rook uh, out of a sudden i see queen e6 for example queen e6 no queen e7 you mean no no queen e6 with queen check on b3 e oh wow oh no you've just got it is Hi, it, that's is no it, you've 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 got the right idea but you just haven't got the move here i was looking at queen b7 queen e7 but you can combine two threats here. This is brilliant. Well done. See if you can see it. If, well, I've just given you the answer, basically. Yes, yes, yes. It's queen f7, right? Yeah, queen f7. Amazing. Threatening queen b7 check. And the point is that if you now block with rook c7, as you've just said, you've it, got this it, brilliant... It, you've got this check. Isn't it? Is it? Yes, yes, yes. And now you can... Oh my goodness! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh, that was that yeah. Was and, so and, satisfying. and the point is, if King C eight, you now have Queen G eight mate as well. Oh That's my god! Point. That was the, well that was done. Yeah, I didn't see that. You see, I didn't see. I didn't see Queen F seven. I missed it. I was trying to make Queen D seven work. Queen E seven. Okay, we know we've got a draw as white, but we want more, right? Um. <laughs> <laughs> and that is just crushing nice um, I love it. really nice really well done everybody thank you Brilliant. so much for watching i hope you have fun with our new tactics format i hope i really hope you do your tactics training too this is all what it is about so yeah. let's get this going thank you everybody for watching thank we'll you so see much each other yeah. soon again yeah okay Brilliant. bye 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 bye